Howdy folks, my name is Elliot Scribner. I'm a software engineer on the developer experience team here at Couchbase. And today we're gonna demonstrate how to use N8N with the Couchbase search vector node. We'll do this by building a very simple travel agent workflow. Before we get started, we need to make sure we have the Couchbase community nodes installed. So I'm gonna go down to my settings. And I'm gonna go to community nodes and click install a community node. The package name is N8N Nodes Couchbase, and I need to agree that I understand the risks. And click install. And once that's done installing, I can click on this button to go back to my workflow. Now, I already have most of the nodes laid out for this, and we'll go over what each one does in more detail in a few moments. But before we do that, let's get a cluster deployed so we have something to query. I'm gonna use the free tier available on Couchbase Capella, uh, but it really doesn't matter what type of cluster you use as long as you have the search uh, service. I'm gonna call it N8N, and then I'll click Create Cluster, and that's gonna start deploying in the background while we talk about this workflow in a little more detail. So the first part of this workflow is the chat app, and that's when we receive a chat message. We're gonna use an AI tools agent to coordinate with Gemini, Simple Memory, do some retrievals from Couchbase, and also use the OpenAI embeddings. I'll mention that I already have the credentials for Gemini and for OpenAI configured. Um, there's plenty of documentation out there on how to do this, so I won't get into too much detail there. And then the second part of this workflow is to ingest data. And so we'll do this first to sort of prime our database with the documents we need to retrieve. We're gonna use a webhook to listen for some requests, and then in turn, we'll insert some data using OpenAI embeddings once again. And the data that we're inserting is just gonna be some pretty simple uh, little documents for points of interest. So this is just an example, it's the Eiffel Tower. Uh, we have a description of it. And we're gonna insert a couple of these so that our uh, travel agent can sort of recommend which points of interest we might be interested in going and seeing. So we need to go through and configure the two Couchbase vector nodes. Um, but before we do that, we need to configure our database a little bit. So let's go check and see if we're done deploying over here. And it looks like we are, so that's great. Um, before we do anything else, we need a bucket scope and collection. So I'm gonna go into the data tools and click create and we'll make a new bucket. We're gonna call that travel agent. The scope will be vectors, and the collection, points of interest. It doesn't really matter what you use here, but for simplicity, I recommend keeping it the same because the search index that I'm gonna provide relies on these same values. Um, next, we're gonna add a search index. I have a definition already put together. They're kind of complicated, um, so I figured I'd just make one. I'll post this gist in the description of the video and you can just go download it and then just go click import search index and pick your JSON file and that'll import it. Um, fairly straightforward here. We have a description and an embedding and the embedding is obviously a vector with 1536 dimensions. We're gonna use dot product similarity and optimize it for recall. The description is text, it's in English. And we wanna make sure we have store, include term vectors and doc values all enabled. Uh, there's more info on how these indexes work on the Couchbase documentation, so I won't go into it in too much detail, but this is a pretty simple index that's gonna work well for our needs. So I'll create that index, and we, we'll have zero documents because we don't have anything that we've inserted yet, so that makes sense. And next, we need to make sure we're able to connect to our database. So first, we'll create a cluster access. We'll call it admin. Sure, I get the password correct. And it just needs access to the travel agent vectors, uh, but we wanna make sure that's read and write access. So we can create that. Now we also need to make sure we allow the IP address. I'm just gonna allow access from anywhere for now. Great. And then the last thing we're gonna need is our public connection string. So I'll go copy that. And now we can jump back over into N8N and start sort of filling out our vector nodes. So first we need to create a credential. And I'll put the connection string in. 
we call it admin. Try to get the password correct. Cool. And now we should be able to, we can close these out. We should be able to check what bucket, scope, and collection we wanna use, and then also select our index. We'll do the same for the other couch-based vector node as well. Travel agent, vectors, points of interest, and we'll use the POI index. And I'm going to save those changes. And now we can actually test out our ingestion. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this curl command and this. We can paste that there. We need to put the webhook URL in. So we'll copy that. And also we wanna make sure we're listening for a test event. We'll put that in, workflow has started. And you can see, let's try one more time because it doesn't look like it actually went through. Workflow has started and now you can see all the gears sort of turning. As we insert the data into our database, we can go back to the data tools just to double check it. Go to documents, vectors, points of interest, and you can see there's our Eiffel Tower document there. I'm gonna delete this because we'll insert it again later uh, with, a, with our bulk insert shell script. So if we wanna do a couple more of these without having to run a bunch of curl commands, I've put together a little shell script that is gonna insert maybe six, I think. And we have the Eiffel Tower, the Inca Trail, Acropolis, a couple others. Um, and this will be a gist that's also linked in the video description below. In order to run this and do the bulk insertions, we need two things. We need to grab our production URL, which is right there. And then we also need to make sure we activate the workflow and that way it'll constantly be listening and uh, it can accept multiple webhook requests. So now if I go over here, we can do load data. And you can see the workflow has started and it's gonna just do this over and over six times until we have all of our data inserted into Couchbase. So if I go over here and I click get documents, you'll notice we have all six, Inca Trail, Eiffel Tower, Grand Canyon, all the others. And so I think we're ready to finally test out our chat app. So let's go and open the chat and we can just ask it a simple question like, where should we go? And it's saying that the Blue Lagoon, the Grand Canyon, and the Eiffel Tower, or the Acropolis are all great romantic getaways. Um, Grand Canyon's maybe a little bit more adventurous. So let's see um, where, Inca Trail and Grand Canyon are both uh, great adventurous outdoor vacations. And then this market in Tokyo is another recommendation that we have uh, in our database. And so you can see it's basically, it's just pulling the data straight from our Couchbase database um, using the vector search. This may not be the most useful travel agent. I'm not sure anybody would actually use this to plan a vacation, but it's a really easy way to sort of see how Couchbase can be queried and you can feed data into your LLM uh, to inform it about maybe some more details you want. So thank you all for watching. Thanks for your time and attention on this video. And feel free to leave any comments or questions below and we'll see if we can address them. Thanks so much.